Hello, Ryan here from RLF Vacuum Cleaners and Legging Heap. Uh, and today I'm going to talk about one of the greatest upgrades you can make to one of these commercial new vac Henry vacuum cleaners. And it is, very very simply, a brilliant idea. Uh, on the domestic machines for a lot of years, uh, when they went from the dual switch design just to a single switch design, they put a little neon indicator in this side, which was wired up to the mains, so you knew if you had it plugged in or not. Now, in the commercial world, these vacuum cleaners get used and abused every day, and they do get quite a lot of cable failures. Now, cable failures can be a bugger to detect, but if you've got a little neon light, and like myself, you run quite a lot, or maintain quite a lot of these machines, time and money and cost is all, that's what's all about the name of the game, trying to get costs down. And when we refurbish a machine, we always fit a neon indicator in this little slot here. Simply because if the customer then rings up and says my machine don't work, is the neon light on, that pretty much guarantees that it's a cable failure. Because all that's happening is, whether it's got this little box plug on here, literally it wires through to the neon indicator. So unless it's failed internally, which is very rare, I've never seen one like that. New cable. So we send them a new cable, it's cheaper than sending out a whole new head or a whole new machine, depending on the application. And you save yourself so much time and effort and money, why wouldn't you fit it? Uh, we actually sell this as a kit. On these newer commercial machines, they have this green squared off switch. We've had hundreds of these switches fail. So then when we do a refurbishment and we sell this kit as well, we actually do the old style. don't know how the camera's going to pick that up. Is it going to pick it up? No, it's not, is it? I'm going to do uh, we fit the Arco electric made in England switches. This is what Pneumatic used to use. We actually buy these in bulk, get a good deal on them. And again, these save so much time because what's the point in spending all this time stripping down refurbishing machines if you're just going to put the old switches in, which you know some of them are dodgy and may fail. Again, it's all about time, effort and money. These switches aren't expensive. They are a lot less expensive and replacing a whole head out because obviously you can't expect a customer to start stripping this down putting new switches in this is the neon indicator bit this is actually a pre-made loom we made ourselves and what we do is we recycle quite a lot of these machines that come with a wiring loom in them so they come with these nice little pretty connectors already crimped on which again saves us a nice bit of effort cut the end off cut it to length crimp two ends on away we go now if anybody's interested, I'll actually show you how to do this on this particular machine. I will do some videos on other models. The older domestic machines with the high-low button, they sometimes fail. Again, looking at a high-low switch or high-low board. Again, you might as well do away with it, run at full speed, take the switch out, put a little neon indicator in. Makes everything so much better. So, to fit this neon indicator, nice and simple, we actually sell this kit online. So if you want to buy it, you can watch the video, get it yourself. If you want some machines refurbished, this is an option that we provide. We like to provide it a standard, but the problem is some customers are push, 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 push on price. And when you want to start getting pushed on price, things have to go. This is usually the first thing that we drop, saves a few pounds. So I've unplugged the machine. They have a little box plug on the back. Don't know how the camera's going to pick this up, but there's little little plastic bit of the top two screws pull the plug off then you flip it over onto the bottom side there are seven torx t20 screws four on the outside three in the middle i've already done done this just to make it nice and simple nobody wants to unscrew it top lifts off like so oh, this one's falling apart nice and easily actually but normally what would happen is this bit would actually stay in the machine you just unplug it from the motor while the power's off, obviously. Pull that off the motor like so. You've got this unit here. This has some little catches on the back, which you just pop off using your fingers. That gets you into the innards of it. So if we grab our little flat blade and screwdriver. We want to disconnect the two brown and blue wires at the back. Pop them off like so. In fact, I will pop the switch out and it can be easier. Give us a bit of room. Oh, pop that out like 
So, pull the wires off, make it nice and tight. You then want to pull the green bit out with the white wires. Okay, I'm going to pull the two white wires off. Now this is up to you. I always like to have the power switch pointing in. So pull them two wires off. Power switch pointing in. Put the two wires on. Like so. Now this is the slightly tricky fitting bit. Grab our housing. We pop this little plastic cover off. Like so. Drop the new neon indicator in, like so. Just push that in. Don't know how this is coming up on the camera. A bit awkward to do it at a funny angle. On it. So push that in there, like so. Then what you want to do is, you want to grab your switch, you want to push these two wires through the middle of the switch like so, and then you just want to connect the piggyback connectors up. See if we can zoom in a bit. Better. You have the two piggyback connectors like so. Push them on, again it's all colour coded, brown goes to brown. Blue goes to blue. You then want to push your piggyback connectors onto the terminal. Push that on there like so. Same with the brown. Push that on there like so. Make sure everything's nice and pushed on, nice and tight. Like so, and then you'll just tuck your white wires down the little gap. Push them out there like so. Ooh, get the camera in here. And then you can get the tricky bit, but try and feed all the wires in. Like so. All the wires nice and tucked in. Oop. Again, it is a bit fiddly because there isn't that much space for all these wires. So we push that all in there nice and tight. As you can see, it's all in there. You can see it's a bit tight in there, but again, not too bad. So we grab our back panel, this it just pushes on. And clips in. Yeah, all pushes on, clips on. This bit goes back onto the back of the machine. And we grab our top piece to zoom out for this bit here. Now identify when we're going on the machine, it's best to drive it upside down. So this bit wants to go in. Wires go in the little cutouts. Like so. Uh, a lot of these machines have this little plate in here. This is quite important. It goes in the little slot like so. Don't lose it. It's quite valuable. And then once we've done that, machine back together like so, put the screws in, I won't do this at the moment, it's just for demonstration purposes, you grab the cable, push the box plug on like so, oh 
plug it in. And then when we power the machine on, have a neon indicator light. So if there's a cable failure, for example, this comes unplugged or loose. I'll say what well, I got it plugged in, no lights coming on. That immediately as a diagnostic tool is invaluable because these cables aren't much expensive. It's cheaper than sending out a whole new machine. It's simple, over the phone diagnostics, save time, effort, money, everyone's a winner, and it doesn't cost that much. So yeah, this is the number one upgrade I recommend you do to any commercial Henry machine. If you want a refurbished machine, we offer the service standard, unless you want to start cutting corners, then of course this is the first thing to go along with the power switch. Again, you will be advised that these are things that do fail, and if you do fail, you will be charged to repair them, unless you've got fully inclusive contract with us, but then again, fully inclusive contracts have all this work done anyway, so... Yeah, this is a very interesting video. You probably might not find it interesting, but I'm actually going to make up 50 of these wiring looms, the 50 machines I'm going to work on over the next few weeks. So yeah. Thank you very much for watching and goodbye.